this is my pick for this week. It is called Pumpkin Drop. And yes, I realize that we're technically past Halloween, but we are still sort of in a grace period of autumnness. Uh, and so Pumpkin Drop by Shack Attack 8. Shack Attack 8 is back again with another cool game. Uh, so let's take a look at the game first. This is a, uh, well, I'll let the uh, instructions explain it. It says, press A to drop your pumpkin. If it lands in a cart, you get points. If you hit multiple carts in a row without a pumpkin hitting the ground, you get chain multiplier that multiplies your score. All right, and so here it is. We have this little uh, sort of claw holding a pumpkin up at the top. And when you click A, it drops a pumpkin and the pumpkin lands in one of the carts or it hits the ground depending on your aim. So you can see I, I had one hit the ground. Uh, no exploding pumpkin animation though, uh, it just disappears, possibly thankfully. Uh, and so uh, that's the game. It's, it's a, a really cute game, really nicely executed. I haven't seen any games like uh, this done before in Make Code Arcade. And so I just wanted to point out a couple of neat things inside of the code. So first of all is the motion. And it's, it's uh, I'd never thought of doing it this way, but it's, it's a really elegant solution for having the player sprite, which is this claw moving back and forth. The way that's taken care of is just with these blocks right here. So it's set sprite to bounce on wall, that's turned on. And so you can imagine that's a sort of a, that, that um, block has a whole bunch of code and, and functionality built into it, a bit of a black box for, for some physics stuff that's happening. And then we have this set my sprites velocity on X to 50. And so it just starts the game heading to the screen right, which is the positive X uh, uh, vector there. And then when it hits the wall, when it contacts it, the bounce on wall sprite allows it to go and essentially reverse that direction. And you can do angled things as well. You can bounce stuff all around. But this is a really neat, elegant use of just that one axis since it's moving uh, perfectly uh, perpendicular to those walls. And the other interesting thing is you can't spam the, the shoot button, the A button, to drop a bazillion pumpkins. And the way that's done is with this little cooldown uh, variable. So there's a cooldown variable that's set to false. And when you release a pumpkin, it gets set to true. And whenever you hit the A button to try to drop a pumpkin, it checks. Are we in cooldown mode and you got to wait a second? Or has the uh, pumpkin particle or, or projectile been destroyed uh, or, or uh, hit one of the carts, meaning that it's uh, out of play. And so that little cooldown is a really nice, elegant way to uh, prevent the player from just spamming the button a million times. So that is my uh, arcade game pick of the week, which is Pumpkin Drop by Shack Attack 8. Go check it out. That is the Make Code Arcade Game of the Week.